Charger Miles here. Uh, just wanted to give you an update on the Franken Briggs 4 there. I've been working on making new couplings since like last December on and off. Whenever I can get time to go to a machine shop and accessibility, all that. Anyway, uh, just to review here the problem I had. Uh, when we had it running, we had uh, these type of uh, couplings on it there with the rubber between them. And uh, it split the one here off of the back of number one cylinder. So uh, after about, what, 30 seconds of running. So anyways, decided to go with the new design here. It's a piece of, uh, you know, they call it UHMW plastic. It's almost like your crazy carpet plastic or something, but uh, uh, fairly slippery, but, you know, it's got some strength too. And then uh, machine steel um, shaft on each side, basically. So uh, we'll just go over a little bit. And to drive it, we put a set screw machined uh, halfway between the shaft and the uh, collar, or whatever you want to call it there. You can, you can see it in the end of this one here. And uh, threads in there. Had to do that on a mill. That, that was uh, an interesting operation setting the engine up. But anyways, new couplings here. Um, we have uh, countersunk head um, bolts, two of them. So these bolts in here attach to the, the, the far uh, collar here through the UHMW and then there's two similar ones coming uh, here and here. So the plastic's the only thing that drives it in between. There's no uh, mechanical connection between the two shafts although the plastic it's you know it's not near as soft as rubber is so uh, and then yeah, the way I actually made it was uh, machined the discs and the UHMW and then uh, stuck a piece of rod down it to align it welded these uh, two bars to it and proceeded to melt some of the plastic but uh, anyway uh, then set it in a mill and put four holes in it and then drill larger and countersink two of them then flip it upside down and countersink the other two so it's been uh, you know it doesn't look all uh, like all that much but it's been uh, a lot of hours uh, making these couplings and then uh, when I assembled the number three and four cylinder here just bear with me a second here It'll take too long to get them together there So, I'm hoping this shows up on the video, what happens here. Just watch close uh, the, the distance between the cylinder, uh, top of the cylinders here. And you see it wiggle there? Move back and forth. So what that's telling me is that the end of number four crankshaft appears to be warped. So uh, that's uh, causing me some uh, grief there. Uh, I think the way to solve it is to machine the face of this disc. Uh, since I've measured and uh, the disc itself is uh, uh, true to oh, about half a thousandth of an inch, I had to sand it to get it that way. Uh, when I welded it, it swelled up in a few places. But uh, anyway, uh, so. I'm uh, I'm working on this Franken Briggs 4 here, uh, but uh, just having some uh, difficulties with it, and uh, hopefully we can uh, work them out because the, the amount of uh, it misalignment it has there, it it would shake itself apart in like no time. So anyway, just wanted to uh, update you on that. Uh, have a good one.